Well, some call Mumia Abu Jamal an activist, yet he is a convicted cop killer. This week, Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner revealed that he will challenge an order that allowed Abdu Jamal to appeal his case. That decision has now drawn swift reaction from the NAACP. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore has more on Krasner's controversial decision. The NAACP is not here to argue guilt or innocence of Mr. Jamal. The president of the Philadelphia chapter of the NAACP has a message for the district attorney's office. We're here talking about due process. He denounced District Attorney Larry Krasner's move to appeal Judge Leon Tucker's ruling that would allow Mumia Abu Jamal to appeal the case against him. The activist has been serving life without parole since his death sentence was thrown out. Abu Jamal was convicted of the shooting death of 25 year old Philadelphia officer Daniel Faulkner at 13th and Locust Streets on December 9, 1981. The NAACP says this appeal by the DA's office is disappointing. We hoped that uh, the district attorney would reconsider uh, and pull that appeal back. Judge Tucker made his ruling last month because former Chief Justice Ronald Castile did not recuse himself when Abu Jamal's case went before the court. Castile was Philadelphia's district attorney during Abu Jamal's initial appeal. There's so many question marks in Mr. Jamal's case and how it's been handled. Uh, it deserves real careful review. A spokesperson for Krasner says its appeal reflects agreement with some and disagreement with other aspects of the court's opinion, saying in a statement, that opinion has sweeping and, in our view, problematic implications for a large volume of cases. The Fraternal Order of Police has supported the Faulkner family. The president of the local lodge, John McNesby, said it's nice to see the DA's office advocate on behalf of hero officer Danny Faulkner by filing this appeal. Meanwhile, NAACP leadership hoped to appeal to Krasner. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, many furloughs.